Paul Rosenberg or Rosenthal. Who's calling? This is Benzino. Hello? Yeah, who's this? Paul. Yeah, Paul's Benzino. How you doing, man? I'm not doing too good. I'm not doing too good. I mean, you know, Steve told me that you want to talk to me, so I'm calling, I'm, I'm calling back. Yeah, I just, you know, I spoke to Steve, and I just want to make sure that, you know, this, this shit doesn't get out of hand. Hey, Paul, you know, see, this guy's starting to believe in himself now. You know what I'm saying? This little chump is starting to believe in himself. You feel what I'm saying? You know, he's passionate. The streets got to know that this nigga is a fucking fake. He's a phony. I feel you. You know what I'm saying? He's a fucking phony. Who could this motherfucker harm? He has to be exposed, and I'm not going to stop exposing him. I went after what the state of hip-hop is from the street's perspective. He felt like he could fucking disrespect me on some, he wants to fight me? It's not like he's going to do anything. Well, I'm saying where? He sound like a little white little bitch that, that you know what I'm saying, that, that, that stays behind security and stays in the studio and blocked away from society that he can say whatever he wants. You see, I'm not that fucking dude, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not that dude, man, about Boston niggas extorting Dave and everything. What type of shit is that? What? The real extortion is him extorting hip-hop from fucking dumb streets. That's the real extortion here. You knew what he was going to do. You knew the songs. You knew what he said about me. You knew this conversations he had, he had with Fat Chuck. You knew all this shit. No. You should have these the some peaceful knew. conversations with him. Listen, the only thing that I knew, that if you can't turn this into a thing against me, you and I don't have a problem. Oh, I don't... This isn't, you're a part, listen, you manage Elvis. You're a part of him. You're a part of him. You're just as much of a part of him. I work you run him. Shady Records, you're a part of you're him. Right. I work you're a part him. of that movement. Don't you think it's out of hand already? Well, you know what? I, I didn't want it to happen in the first place. I spoke to Dave after I heard about the first record, and I was like, Dave, what's up? Why, you know, where's this coming from? And he was like, ah, you know, he's got some things he wanted to get off his chest. And, you, know, my th you know what I'm saying, but I mean, is the call, like, what's the call for? Like, I mean, he's already dropped his record, like, you guys made your move, so what, what is really the call for? Oh, I just, you know, I just wanted to see if there's any way that, you know, if we can make peace of the situation, and, you know, I don't, I don't want it to get out of hand. My name. Make peace out of this? Something, yeah. So then why would he, you know, bring my kids and my, you know what I'm saying, why would he say the things he says? I don't have control over it, man, I don't know. Yeah, man, he's out of control, man. He got a lot of mouth, you know what I'm saying? He said he wants to fight me and everything else, man. I mean, you know, if, if that's what he wants to do, Paul, I'm sure we can arrange that, you know what I'm saying? It's still a record, though, man, you know? I mean, and see, my thing is, he doesn't know me from Adam Bomb. What I spoke was the truth. I'm talking about the state of hip-hop. He might have got with a couple of guys, fat chucker, any one of these other little faggot-ass motherfuckers who talk a bunch of shit about me. He knows nothing about me. I'm not a magazine dude, you know? Like at the end of the day, he felt like he had to get that off his chest, but it's more frustration. It seems more personal. My, I think mine was more attack on the whole machine. Yeah, well, I don't know. I can't call it. If, it, if I had it my way, it, 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 none of it would ever happen. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I just I just thought that we should, we should speak. I mean, we never met before anyway, so. Yeah, so, I mean, so, I mean, again, you know, I mean, I mean, you know, I want to but it's still, you know, to this point, been on record. It's, you know, I just want to keep it that way. So, yeah, it's, but you talked to him. I mean, uh, obviously, he, he feels like this. So, I mean, can we arrange him? He was upset, too, but he's it's not like he's going to, you know, run around and try to do anything. I can take all the other shit, but as far as him physically harming me? Yeah, well, I know. You know what I'm saying? No, like, you know, no one's going to do that, man. I mean, no one's going to try. No, 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 I, I don't. And, you know, I don't need you to tell me that. You know what I'm saying? I've... I went through a lot in my life, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm saying if that's how he really feels, I mean, can we arrange it? Nobody has to know about it. Can we arrange us somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, no gloves either. Like, just getting it on, can that be arranged? I, I doubt it. Then why would he, then why would he, he sounds, he sounds so, he sounds so convinced. That's his record. You've heard, you've heard his records before. That's how, you know, he's passionate. He's just real passionate. Hi. It's a lot easier to be friends with this guy. It's a lot more political, but I'm speaking on the whole behalf of the streets and hip-hop and how sales are declining for everybody else. And, you know, the bottom line it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, Eminem doesn't know about me. He doesn't know nothing personally about the kid. So it's like, you know, when, he, when he's coming at me, he sounds like he's really pissed off. Like, my shit, like, I didn't, you know, I said what I said even in my interviews. You know, it, it was made clear that it was going at the machine. It really wasn't personal because I, I said I didn't know him. 
But you know, he's running around with 50 now, so his, he feels that his balls are getting big. So if he feels that his balls are getting big and if he got his do-rag on, his scully tip to the side, then, man, then he has to know everything that come with it, man. My thing is, man, it's like life is pain, man. Like Josh said it better. Love is pain, but even more than love is pain, life is pain. And he don't know the pain that I done been through. He don't know the type of pain that motherfucking my people been through. It's not a black and white thing, Paul, because bottom line is, man, you know, like I grew up in Boston. You know, when you're exposed to racism, you know, and, 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 and when, you're, when you come from an intelligent type of background and you're intelligent yourself, you don't succumb to it. So it ain't black and white. It never was. My fucking brother is a Jewish kid. He's like my brother. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would jump in front of bullets for him, day. You know what I'm saying? This guy is starting to believe in himself now. You know what I'm saying? This little chump is starting to believe in himself. You feel what I'm saying? You know, he's, he's like, he's, he's, he's harmless. Like, who? Uh, like you understand what I'm saying, Paul? Who can this who can this motherfucker harm? Listen, he's a fucking he's harmless. I'm not going so, to so, talk so he can, about him. Huh? Say that again? I'm not calling you to talk to you about the way you feel about him. I, I hear you, but No 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 but if we're gonna keep it real, he's fucking harmless. I mean, is he a gangster? Is he is he a tough guy? Did this guy Marshall? He never claimed to be a gangster. He doesn't claim to be but okay, does he claim to be tough? I don't know what that means. Does he claim to be street? Street? No, he claims to be he, he claims to be whatever he says he is. He never runs around. Well, what is he? I don't know. What is this guy? Look. On that, Pete, I'm trying to get a real gist on this. Like, who? Who is he? Like, who does he claim to be? What is this guy? Like, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure this guy out. Like, who is this guy? <laughs> you know, who is this 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 masked man that can come and talk about all kind of crazy shit? And 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 and, and 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 you know, talk about women and, and ecstasy and, and and put his crotch on thing and kill his mother. Who is this mass man? One night, one horn, flying purple people leader. Jagas. Damn it. Fuck. My boy Pete! <laughs> Sonny! Honey, Sonny, ew, what the fuck is that? Damn, man, I'm sorry, I'm just happy to see you. What's up, man? It's been a while, what's up, bro? What's good? Whoa, 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 where's Dennis? I'm not sure, he's not here yet. What the fuck do you mean he's not here? Did you hear from Dennis? I'm about to call this man. I thought hurricane season was over. Hello? Where you at? Yeah, I'm cutting through the middle school now. We about to start this party without you. Don't start the party without me, dickhead. Then get here. Yeah, bro, I'll be there in five minutes. What about Jimmy John and Raul? Bro, it's Rallo. Nah, Rallo ain't coming. Jimmy John said he had something better to do or something. Jimmy John's on his way. I just talked to him.